Jolly Red Giant. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> that was bad. <laughs> it's running. Hi, everyone. This is Bob Mahalo with Trinity Health Coaching. I'm here again this evening with my wife, Vicki Mahalo. And this evening, we're here to show you a little trick for cutting up some watermelon. Okay, so once you've cut the watermelon in half, then what you're going to do is make some horizontal slices, two to three, depending upon how big the watermelon is. Go around the watermelon, about not quite halfway, and then make another slice, another part way down the watermelon, trying to stay horizontal. Sharp knife is easier. Sharp knife is a good thing to have. Then rotate it around, and being careful not to start where the last part ended up, because you don't want to cut the watermelon off entirely. Leave an inch? Yeah, inch, half inch, something like that. But go around the other way, again, until you're almost to where you cut it. And then come back around, and at the second point at which you cut, Leave it doesn't matter if it's perfectly square or not. So okay, so leave I, about an inch on both sides? Leave an inch but, so on both sides. And both cuts. Yep. Then go around the rind, going all the way into the bottom of the melon. And then once you've done that, just some deep slices. Maybe a couple inches? Eh, not even. Like an inch, maybe an inch. And then rotate it 90 degrees. Do the same thing. And voila, pour it into the bowl. And yes, you have a little bit left inside, but you can always scoop that out if you want. But that's a pretty easy way to get your watermelon out of the rind. Now, there's a couple of reasons that people may not eat watermelon or may not want to cut up the watermelon themselves. Number one, a lot of people buy pre-cut watermelon because they don't want to have to bother with the mess of cutting up the individual slices and then cutting out the watermelon, the, the fruit, from the rind. This shows you a really quick and simple way to be able to get a lot of the good fruit out of the rind. Like in 30 seconds, really. Absolutely. But the other bigger reason why I think a lot of people don't eat watermelon is because they've been led to believe that it's high in sugar and therefore it could actually cause you to gain weight. And I'm here to tell you that's ridiculous. You can actually have as much as three cups of watermelon and still have it be a low glycemic load snack. Three cups is about this much. And I'm sure that's more than enough to satisfy anybody that's looking to have some watermelon. So, I would encourage you guys to go get a watermelon, try out this technique, it's great. I want to give a shout out to Roberto, uh, who has a roadside stand and he actually donated a watermelon to us uh, as a thank you to Vicky for teaching a healthy cooking class at the Mustard Seed Cafe in El Paso. So, thank you Roberto for that. Thanks Roberto. And any little remaining fruit that's still in the rind, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy. Hey, chef gets to clean out the bowl, what's with that? All right, dear. Here's a bite for you.